Hey, welcome back, my friends. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. Welcome back to my living room. Please have a seat. Get yourself some coffee. And if you didn't, if you missed the latest unboxing of Chords and Notes merch, oh. alternate logo, Chords and Notes Nation coffee mug. Pretty sharp. My daughter designed that logo. I love it. It's the same logo up here. This is the original logo. The merch store, you can find that link in the description box below. Get yourself a mug so we can drink coffee together. So good. Marcin. Marcin. Okay. I'm ready for some more guitar. I'm ready. I can do it. I'm going to play like him. <laughs> no, I can't play like him. Not many people can. But uh, we have When the Light Goes. This just came out at the time I'm recording this. He, this came out 10 hours ago. Look at those nails. He's got them polished. And he's got a snake. I wonder if the snake is going to play his guitar too. This is the official video from the Marcin YouTube channel. <laughs> snake yeah no the snake was chill he was just like all right he's like whatever i'm chill he's probably feeling the vibrations on the guitar and like like oh wow this is cool <laughs> um 
So definitely, at first I thought it was, there was kind of like a Harry Potter thing going on here, but I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not. I, probably not. I'm not quite sure what his overall message visually was, but it, it certainly was an interesting uh, video in that sense. What I really liked about this is that he had to play within the confines of a song that has vocals. Okay. Um, why did I like that so much? Because he is such a flamboyant player who can do so much, and quite often he does so much within each song that it be can become very overwhelming and cumbersome to the listener. Um, it's like, uh, you know, you have a glass of a hundred-year-old whiskey. You don't have a bottle of a hundred-year-old whiskey. He's like a bottle, <laughs> drinking the whole thing in one song. Right? Um, not saying that he drinks. You know what I mean, though. I hope you know what I mean. Um, but, so when you have to share space with the vocals, uh, when the vocals are taking up that, that, that melody, and the guitar has to now uh, confine itself to harmony and supporting melody, uh, there's only so much that you can do. Otherwise, you risk drowning out those vocals and just making sort of a musical mess. All right, but when there are just the instruments, not the vocal instrument, but the instruments, that's when the guitar now, like it's been confined and it's been wanting to bust out and all of a sudden you get like, you know, 30 seconds to just boom. And then he can go ahead and do his thing and then resume back to uh, his role of harmonic support. And... I like that. I like when a virtuoso can do that because it shows, like, all of these virtuoso guitar players, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, Marcin, Matteo Mancuso, uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on and on. That's great when you, when this is, it's just the guitar and supporting instruments. Uh, and they reach a level of mastery that every song they want to show their compositional greatness. And that is great and it's awesome. But it becomes so much where it's just like, ah, you know, too much of a good thing starts to spoil it. You want to be able to show some restraint compositionally. You want to be able to showcase your uh, your skills tactfully. And so I, I enjoyed, um, though I was a little distracted by the visuals, I enjoyed the song itself. I enjoyed his playing. I love the hook in this song. It was really awesome. Uh, so really hats off to you on this one, Marcy. And thank you so much for putting together another high quality performance so that we can all enjoy. And, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me once again. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I will talk to you later.